Oh, yes. This partial list of such sanctions? Yes. These uh, filing for groundless pleadings, motions? Yes. Uh huh. Or uh, other papers, sanctions of party or party's attorneys? Right. <laughs> Failure to abide by a pretrial order, sanction is a, a party or party's attorneys for baseless discovery requests or objections. Yes. Now, when the, the petitioner that didn't acknowledge the court order never appeared in court to testify that I committed any crimes in Squim, Washington, right, uh, and didn't, ap didn't appear in court in Jefferson County, yes. She never actually said I was in Brennan, Washington. You filed a two-count criminal complaint? Pooch. But these restoration laws, do they require the actual testimony of the alleged victim to require? Now, I'm thinking that there's some sanctions here. and you oh, Award expenses caused by failure to attend a deposition. Yeah. Or to serve a subpoena on a party to, to be dispo, deposed. Yes. <laughs> Award expenses. Oh, dismiss an action or claim of a party that fails to prosecute, <laughs> to comply with federal rules, or to obey an order of the court. <laughs> Award expenses or contempt damages when a party presents an affidavit in a summary bad faith or for the purpose of delay. Pooch. Power to award damages and costs for frivolous appeal. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I've never seen the petitioner in court, and the prosecuting attorney office said, well, as a victim, she doesn't have to appear. Yes. But I was kind of looking at some of this uh, documents that the alleged uh, victim allegedly signed. Yes. Now, there's what's known as the board certified document examiner. Yes. Mm -hmm. Went through a glossary of terms. <laughs> Could you get me every signature of Heidi Lee Budner? Oh. And Heidi Lee Budnick, coach, since July 3rd of 2011. Yes. Now, uh, all of these individuals that are in the forensic document examination profession, yes, give me every one of them, coach, all of them, pow, for the last 40 years. Now, these certifications are awarded by association boards and by accredited certifying bodies. Yes. I keep mentioning the signature difference. Yesterday I made some videos from the study room. Yes. And you decided to not employ any person that has been certified uh, by an association or accreditation uh, board. Yes. <laughs> now the mid zone part of the lower case of the letter K also in P <laughs> may be observed in the uppercase K and P. Yes. <laughs> Just looking through this, right, there's known as evidence. Yes, there is. Any testimony, as in the testimony of the alleged victim? Yes. Testimony of any witnesses that say I was in Squim on December 31st? <laughs> any testimony is known as evidence. Does every court understand? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, these testimonies uh, should be required before you motion the court for 1077. <laughs> But I never saw Heidi appear in court at any of the times that I was arrested. Yes. Now, I know, issuing a traffic citation, you were sure it was a he said, she said, she said, she said, she said, she said, she said. These documents known as actual court orders? Yes. I thought we should employ a forensic handwriting expert that has been certified by an association <laughs> to see exactly how many of the signatures... <laughs> Uh, are material objects presented at a trial used as a basis of some level of proof of the existence or non-existence of a fact. <laughs> Why don't you give me every document that allegedly, Heidi Lee Budnick, poof, because when I look at the exemplars, this was the word that I had a problem with last night. Yes, you did. <laughs> Handwriting exemplars, poof, something very important in a lot of court cases. Yes. Writing that is represented as having been uh, written by a verified writer. Yes. Now, let's say we did some exemplars today. Poach. <laughs> See specimen. Oh, standard. Oh, request, non-request exemplar. <laughs> now, these handwriting exemplars. Yes. I don't think it's Heidi's handwriting on the actual protection order that was served on me. Yes. Did Heidi fill out the other, well, let's see, there's six pages there. Yes. The other 18 pages of the protection order packet that Clallam County, uh, 
Well, we're going to get some exemplars today, aren't we? Oh, we're going to find out exactly who it was that did all the handwriting. Because when I looked at this, expert witnesses, court qualified, yes, has a special training or experience is permitted by a judge to express in court. Um, under oath, this oath, uh, perjury, ooch, uh, their opinion regarding a legal matter in question. Now, let's say I had one of these legal experts. Right. Oh, look it. I put a void there and verified. Look at that. Forgery. <laughs> A legal determination concerning the non-genuine features of a document or signature. <laughs> a determination of forgery normally meets three requirements. Now, <laughs> there's three requirements for it to be a, a, a forgery. Yes, signing of another person's name. <laughs> Did anybody sign the actual signature? Oh, written without authorization. Did the ex-officio superior court clerk authorize the use of her signature? Yes. And written with intent to defraud, to defraud me of my rights as a citizen? Yes. <laughs> defraud my sons of their father? Yes. <laughs> to continue the scheme or plot of child abduction and kidnapping? Yes. <laughs> to defraud the United States?